Hello and welcome to our 8th tutorial on Urban Design Software Tool Modeler. In this video we will be talking about city blocks. City block is a horizontal element that represents group of parcels, usually bounded by streets and constrained by the same set of regulations. If the building is placed on the city block, it will by default inherit its land use, predefined building height and other parameters. There are two basic ways to create city block. First, you can draw a face, make sure it is selected and click Create City Block, which will turn the face to a SketchUp group that represents City Block. If you don't select anything and click on Create City Block, Modeler will switch to Line Tool so you can draw the face of any shape and when you close the loop, City Block will be created. Just make sure that the face you are drawing is planar. If you want to change the parameters of selected city block, head over to the city block tab. When you are working with many different city blocks, usually some of them will need to have the same parameters and it would be inefficient to edit each one separately. Luckily, we can use Sync tool that will synchronize all the selected city blocks. First, we have to select one or more city blocks and then click the Sync button or Picker icon. Now the picker tool will turn on and we can click on the block from which we will transfer the parameters. So we have chosen the city block with service land use and the previously selected city blocks will match it. Alternatively, you can also use the control key to inject parameters of last picked city block into specific city blocks. As you can see, we cannot move city block because it's locked by default. If we want to change it, we have to click right mouse button and select Unlock. Now we can move, edit or delete it. City block gets locked upon creation to make sure you don't move it by accident as it usually represents group of parcels. If you prefer not to lock city block upon creation, you can go to Options and uncheck Lock city block upon creation option. Let's now open another model to see how this works in practice. We will first draw a city block for a parking area. Let's start with creating a rectangle and clicking on Create City Block button. As you can see, because city block is on the same plane as our ground face, SketchUp will try to show both of them, which is quite unpleasant to work with. But we can solve this easily. Let's raise the textured face a bit above the city block, let's say for 1 inch. But now we can only see the outline, not the whole city block. To fix this, open Materials panel and change the transparency of the texture. This gives you the advantage of seeing both the texture and city block at small price. If you now move the building from city block to face, the building will not be on the same height, which can cause some problems later on. Let's go back a little bit and check another way to avoid visibility problems. Now we just need to double click on the ground floor face and draw outline of the city block. This way we will separate the face inside rectangle from the rest of face. Now we can delete this inner part and we have a hole in the orthophoto face which will prevent the visibility conflicts. If we now decide that we don't need the city block anymore, we can delete it, but there will be a hole in the ground face. To get rid of it, we need to enter the group and delete inner rectangle edge and face will be complete again. It's up to you to decide which way works best for your needs. But let's go back a couple of steps because we will need that city block. Since it represents parking area, we can change its land use to parking. Let's now create a city block for these two buildings. We can click Create City Block and draw its shape with the Line tool. Then double click on the face, draw the outline and delete the inner face. Now we can change the default parameters that will be assigned to buildings, for example number of stories and land use, or change its regulation parameters, for example allowed FAR. Let's also change the number of stories at parking city block to 3. If we now draw the rectangle on service city block and create a building, it will take the parameters we defined here in previous step. But if we move the building to the parking city block, it will change the land use and number of stories according to parameters set for that city block. 
So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, please just drop us an email. See you later.